time to talk Hilton Head High School football. I mean, it, why would we talk about anything else on the island except Hilton Head Especially High? Especially this and, time of year. Yeah, the Seahawks. B.J. Payne joining us with three of his players as we get ready to kick off the 2018 season. Uh, good summer. Uh, you, you got a bunch back you're excited about? Yeah, it's been a really good summer. You know, the, the guys have bought in, done what, what needs to be done in the weight room and on the field. And, uh, you know, we're excited about this year. You know, we're real excited. You know, we think we got a, a great nucleus of, of older guys who, who are very talented with younger guys who are talented and, and also work really hard. And, you know, it's gelled together. So we're really excited. Coach, last season was filled with a lot of what ifs. Four of the five losses by one score or less. In the off season, and as we're getting ready for this season, how does that play into what motivates the players? You know, I think we, you know, we've spoken about it a lot. You know, just finishing and being able to do things. You know, uh, like I said, four of the five losses by less than five points. Every single one of those at the end of the game, we had a drive to win it or a drive to lose it. And uh, you know, very easily it could have ended with a nine and one season, but it didn't. You know, and uh, you know, we've talked to the kids and you know how we go about fixing that. And uh, you know, from mentally to physically, and uh, you know, I think we're on the right path to get that corrected this year. How much does conditioning come into play when you think about last season? A little more emphasis here, or not necessarily? You know, it's conditioning, but it's also the mental aspect. It's a leadership role. Um, you know, and, and you know, we have some great leaders in this on this team. Um, starting with the guys behind me, and uh, you know that that can tend to be a, a you know a huge aspect of it as well as getting everybody to buy in and believe. You lost Colin Kaiser, obviously one of your best skill players last year, but you have most of them back. How does that play into what the thought process is moving forward? I mean, it's a nice problem to have. You know, we you know we do you know we return you know all of our receivers. Um, Gaston Moore at quarterback has done a great job of stepping in along with this guy. You know, he uh, he plays quarterback as well as receiver. You know, so, you know, we're very comfortable skill-wise with what we have to offer on Friday nights. Introduce these guys. Uh, we we want to hear from them. Uh, who, who we got here? All right, we have uh, offensive and defensive lineman Nick Magnan. Uh-huh. Oh, you, oh no, go ahead. Uh, wide receiver, defensive back, uh, Cole DeMarzo. Uh-huh. And then wide receiver, quarterback, defensive back, Deontay Richard. I believe that would be called slash, isn't it? When we used to call them slashes when when we were doing it. Talk about the, all those different roles and which one uh, which one's your favorite. Um, I get that question all the time, and it's it's a lot trying to uh, juggle all three positions. But luckily, I'm really conditioned to do so. But I think receivers is probably the most fun. But I enjoy all three. Receivers the most fun. Uh, that, that that's what we like to hear on the lines. Uh, this team last year. Uh, had to be really fast because the line had its issues uh, just with young youth and uh, not a lot of size. How does that get better this year? Well, this year at O-Line, we've actually finally got size. We got a lot of like 250 pound guys, you know, so we're excited to play with that now. Uh, that, that's terrific. Defensively, team's got to play better. Uh, talk to, uh, to us about what you guys goal-wise have set for yourselves defensively to make to be better this year. Basically, we're, we're not going to let anyone score. Not, not, not going to let anybody score. There you go. There's there's some bulletin board material for the, the first week team. If the other <laughs> team can't score, they can't lose, right? If you, if you don't give up any, it's a Steeler fan. That's a Steeler guy you're talking to. So, yeah, he, he, he knows how that works. Are you? Yes, sir. But the Steelers are all offense now, aren't they? I mean, they don't play any defense anymore. We, we got a young defense. So they're, they're growing. <laughs> New kind of uh, alignment of things. Uh, the the Bluffton game really means something this year. Does that mean? Does it mean even more to you guys because now it's a it's a region game? Oh, definitely. Like last year, like if you won or lost, like it was really just bragging rights. This year, it'll debate whether you make playoffs or not. And that's uh, that is huge. Is that the goal this year? Is playoffs and then some? Uh, last year, you got playoffs, but then you got a, that long drive because you were down in the in the standings. How about a home game in the playoffs? That would be great with the home fans behind us. As we talked to your coach about just a bit ago, you finished 500 last year, 5-5, five and five, but it could have been much better. For each of the players individually, how does that motivationally play into what your determination level is for this year? Um, I think it's just the drive to want to be better than last year. Do you think about it much? Uh, not too much. More of just... A reminder that we just need to be better this year. A little more focus on execution and the things you need to do to succeed. Definitely. Sounds like a recipe for success. I, I, I think it does. Coach would never tell us who the like secret weapon that's going to really be good and, and surprise everybody and come out. 
but you guys are out there every day with them. Who's going to who's going to shock us? Who's gonna, the Hilton Head fans, uh, or at least are, maybe what position group? Who are surprises for the year? <laughs> he shot you a name. What was that? What's he doing? Um, You're going to be the surprise player this year. You're going to be the secret weapon. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's not a secret weapon if we tell. Well, that's that's very true. Who's played well early on? Have you have you seen some guys that have kind of surprised you uh, with how they've come along early? Or is it um, it, it's too early, but you know everybody's worked hard. We got some guys playing some new positions, um, some guys stepping up. Uh, you know, I think everybody here would agree. You know, the running back was uh, position was a question mark for us, um, and we've had two kids that have filled that role great. Uh, Will Frith, who is an all-world lacrosse player, will end up playing Division One lacrosse, has come out for football for the first time and is doing an excellent job. And uh, um, Lavaris Brown, who's a, a freshman this year, um, who had a ton of success at the middle school level, is really doing a great job. Now, Coach, talking a little more gravelly than usual. Usually he's got that. Is that because he's been yelling at you? Oh, no. Coach is a great guy. He never yells. <laughs> Any surprises so face. far this year, Coach? Uh, uh, no, nothing at all. Uh, you know, kind of, you know, what we expected, what, you know, we expect out of them, they've given to us. Um, I think what they expect out of us, we've given to them. Um, so I think it's been, you know, a very smooth summer. Well, best of luck this year. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we'll be talking with the Hilton Head, uh, Hilton Head Prep Dolphins as they get ready for the 2018 season. 